Joe, where are the videos at? Where are the daily uploads at? Well, let me tell you. Uh, one, my mouse broke. I had to get a new one. Two, I had a little gamer injury. I had a blister on my hand. I don't know how. But I'm pretty sure it's from me playing Pokemon for a long time. I, I have no idea how that happened. I'm I'm sure I've held a controller for longer than what I was doing when playing Pokemon. But I somehow got like a blister. That went away. Then got another one. So it made it kind of difficult to use uh, a controller or a mouse. But we're going to fight through it. This is my flu game. I'm like Jordan. But anyways, we're back on our road to Dark Aether here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from, you guessed it, Cam. <laughs> And uh, he wants us to use the M60 on D Machine. So that's what we'll be doing today. And if you want to suggest a weapon for us to use in the next video, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll also have a comment there with every weapon that we've done. We're not going to use any weapons from weapon classes we've already completed until we get Dark Aether. Then we'll go back, finish everything else. Also, make sure you leave what map you want me to play on. And if you have challenges for me, we have a whole separate series for that now. I played with a Guitar Hero guitar in Zombies. You can watch that here. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I have my M60 level 48. This actually took a while to level up this thing is so slow but for our camo progress with grunge we are extremely close to getting this done only about 300 kills away for liquid we need about a thousand four hundred crits brush stroke we need about 900 more kills with pack punch something like that i don't know don't ask me math vintage fauna and topo are done infection we need to unlock and then get our jackrabbit kill so not too much to do there and for our attachments cobra red dot um maybe i'll change this let's try the quick dot why not i never use that for our muzzle i'm going with the socom eliminator our barrel huh probably cavalry i think that's good then we'll go with the tiger team spotlight bruiser grip let's go 125 round mag speed tape's probably fine and the sas combat stock then let's go ahead and change our field upgrade to ring of fire i'm pretty sure our skill for lmgs is all the way up just double checking yep and i think we're all good to just go ahead hop in and try to get this thing done let's hop on d machine also i'm gonna do the whole thing that all youtubers do uh where they plug all their stuff or tell you to do whatever but i'm gonna put a little spin on it i'm gonna give myself 10 seconds to do everything so here we go timer is on the screen and start okay uh 70 of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed uh please do that uh like the video hit, hit the bell uh dislike um, 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 do whatever, uh, and done. I had a little time to kill at the end there, so I think next time we're gonna lower it to seven seconds, and I'll try to get it all in. All right, here we go. Flying on in a D-Machine. Also, uh, a few videos back, I switched over to the Mason skin, because I realized that we were tier 100, and it's got the coolest gloves out of any operator in the game. But jeez, this inspect is so in your face. This gun's thick. Ooh. Even turn it on its side, change positions on it. I do want to address a few things on top of me not uploading daily. Uh, I feel like I've been kind of strained creatively, or I've been straining myself creatively. Uh, I haven't been putting much uh, that I can into my videos and editing. I feel like I'm on a time crunch trying to get everything done, like getting a video done each day. And then I'm also leveling a weapon all the way up to max level or close to it, and then unlocking all the camos for it in that day. Like I'm not giving myself a whole lot of time to actually put some uh, love and effort into editing these videos. So I'm gonna try to find a way to free up some time, give me more time to edit. I'm still gonna try to keep consistent with at least daily uploads but i think i'm gonna start taking a day off a week uh, i'm not sure what day that is but i think i might do saturday but that doesn't mean i'm not gonna be working on anything on saturday i just will probably take the day off the internet on saturday unless there's some sort of like event for a game so i think that would actually help out a lot because uh i just be working 24 7 doing this i don't want to get burnt out not that i'm feeling burnt out or anything just you know i i don't want to lose that uh that touch that drive i just want to make sure that it's all about drive and it's all about power but that i don't get i don't think i'll ever get sick of doing youtube but i don't want to make it into you know something like i I don't know how I'm, what I'm trying to say. I just don't want to make it into something that I won't like as much. And with that being said, I want to try to start to branch out in the kind of content I'm making. I think we're going to start with branching out within the COD scene. Uh, I'm going to go play a little more Vanguard. I know I've been seeing some comments of you guys asking why I haven't been playing Vanguard. Honestly, the zombies has really rubbed me the wrong way. I was trying to be hopeful with it for a while. They're doing what I can, like playing it as it is. Like, I mean, still like, a, like, okay, but it gets really extremely repetitive and just very tiring. Like not that fun to play after a while. Plus getting the weapons all the way up to level 70 is a chore, but I'm gonna try to squeeze at least one Vanguard Zombies video in a week from now on. Hopefully I can stay true to that. And then as well as keep our Road to Atomic series going for multiplayer. So I think we can do kind of both of those at the same time. Like if we level one weapon. So I think we're gonna be like alternating. We'll do like a Cold War Zombies video 
video, then maybe Vanguard Zombies, then Warzone, because there's a new map coming out tomorrow at the time I'm recording this. And I really want to play that. I'll play that with some of the guys here. So if you guys are interested in some Warzone content, that should be coming soon. But I want to get like more of an upload schedule going. Like I usually upload my videos between like 2 and 4 p.m. Eastern. But in terms of schedule, I mean like I'll have like a Cold War video, then a Vanguard video, then another Cold War video, then either Vanguard or Warzone, and then Cold War again. Uh, we're going to do our Road to Dark Aether series here on Cold War at least twice a week, I think. And then maybe our challenge series once a week and then the vanguard indoor war zone videos I, I think that'll be a good mix you know try to get into different subcultures of cod try to change up my uh content a little bit you know because because if i keep doing the same thing i'm not testing myself creatively i'm not going to be growing like as a creator so i want to do that a little more and then also if you guys don't know over on twitch i've uh kind of changed my twitch channel into something where we stream games that aren't cod like i've been playing pokemon pearl over there if you guys want to check that out make sure you follow my twitch at twitch.tv slash jmon3y26 uh we're currently like one gym badge deep we're on to eterna city something like that so we're not too far in if you guys want to catch up i'm trying to get a stream schedule down as well but you know life's been pretty crazy uh, a lot of holidays during this time and then also i'm still working part-time uh while i do youtube so that also conflicts with uh scheduling and everything i only have a certain window when i can like record and stream and all that and i've been putting youtube over streaming or at least making videos over streaming but we still go live from time to time i, I promise I'll, I'll try to get more consistent at that uh, when the holidays like die down but yeah uh, just a little update for you guys sorry to bore you with all this little uh this little rant, rant type thing but i i like to put it out there i like to be transparent with you guys and i'll let you know my train of thought and the direction i kind of want to go with the channel anyways all duty yeah yeah we're playing zombies that's what we're doing round six uh, we have 9k i think we can probably go down and get pack a punch or at least start the process of getting it but we'll probably just wait till round 10 pack a punch do all that good stuff and then we'll, we'll set up in speed cola room and get that going honestly right now lmg is not doing too bad i feel like i haven't been too bad on my crits either what are we at right now 74 crits out of 84 possible that's not bad not at all Look at me. Mostly because I can kind of just hold down on the trigger. And I have 800 million bullets to shoot. We are getting kind of low on ammo as I say that. And I know when I go to buy the ammo, a max ammo is going to drop. It's literally programmed in the game to troll. I'm I'm just putting it out there. Like I, even when I said it last time, immediately, immediately a max ammo drops. So I will go to every last bullet. And I might even knife a few zombies to try to bait it out. Because I know this game just loves to mess with me. Okay, 42 bullets. We're on to 35. That's a bonus point, so we're not going to get another drop or probably a few more kills. I think the limit is three drops per round or three power-up drops per round, excuse me. So we already have one and we have no bullets. So let's do this. I'm going to do a little test. I have no bullets. This is what's going to make a max ammo spawn completely. First, let me knife a few zombies. I'll knife like three or four. Come here. Anyone want to drop it? I know one of you has a max ammo. Just hide in that little tummy. Go ahead and show me it. All right, now I'm going to buy ammo. I knife probably about like five zombies there. One of these guys is going to drop the max ammo now. Okay, insta-kill. I was about to get pissed. I was ready to scream. Way to make me look stupid, game. I've seen it happen before. You guys have seen it happen before. It's for sure a thing where after you buy ammo or you get ammo from, you know, a guaranteed dog round like max ammo, it will immediately drop another one after. Once we get a dog round, I'll show you. But watch this be the game where they, they try to prove me wrong. They try to make me look insane. Oh, shit. I'm not about to go down on round eight. All right, let's get all these crits. I'm gonna try to leave a zombie. That way we can just get everything done smoothly. We can get smoothly. I, I, I really really thought i said smoothie there for a second so i don't know I'll, i'm just saying that to cover my ass but i'm gonna try to leave a zombie so we can do everything smoothly you know get jug get power on get pack a punch get set up and then we can just sit down there and grind slash chill lol i'm sorry it's very late double points perfect love that when there's three zombies left in the round and there's two now let's open this door let's blow up this let's head up here while we have our double points let's take advantage of this loose change easy four seconds there's no way i can get to the other loose change kind of cringe but at least i can still grab it thank you please get it ever since they changed the pond in here it was very very early i feel like that they changed the pond i remember laying down in it and like all the graphics and everything would mess up but ever since they changed it they made getting the loose change at that quick revive like more difficult than it should be like the box where you can go prone in there is very very small just like your mom's 
But okay, let's head down here. Open up left door. Jump on down. Our boost change from speed cola. Open this bad boy up. I'm feeling pretty comfortable on the sticks now. When we started this out, I hardly ever played zombies on controller. And now I it's like kind of natural for me. I mean, my aim could be better. My movement could be better. But now if I were to go somewhere and somebody hands me a controller, I'd, I'd feel pretty confident in my ability to play zombies. Multiplayer is completely different because sometimes I'll be hopping to multiplayer to just get the last few levels and not want to play a whole game of Outbreak. But like my aim is completely different in multiplayer. It is, it is cheeks. Zombies is a lot different though because I can just get dead shot and I don't have to worry about it. And then my movement feels comfortable at this sensitivity. I feel like, I don't know. I, I try to go as hard as possible on a controller. I don't know why. I have like caveman brain where if I want like an input to be harder, like in Madden, for example, if I want to throw like a bullet pass, I will hold down on that button as hard as I can. I don't know. I, I'm just like a gremlin when it comes to controller inputs that if I'm, I'm trying to sprint, I'm pushing that button down as hard as I can. Like it makes no difference on the amount of press that I do to the key or the, the button input or whatever. It's I still just do it. It's like when you're playing a racing game and you're like leaning with the car or your character is about to hit something and you duck. I, I don't know. Sometimes I get too immersed. All I'm trying to say is we've made a lot of progress in this series on uh, my ability on the sticks. Ooh, watch the movement. See, look at that. Would not have been able to do that months ago. Now we got pack punch on flawlessly. And then let's do this. Hit that. Okay. There's a little delay on that whenever I go to hit it. So I can never tell if I hit it or not. This one I for sure hit. Let's go. Zombie, get the hell off me. We have this one to get right here. Another one right here. And our last one is right here. Let's go. Oh, wow. They do the coffin dance. Haha, <laughs> so funny. Crazy how fast memes age. It's actually ridiculous. Let's go ahead and grab Cryo and Pack Punch while we're here. Really quick, this is what Pack Punch 1 looks like on the M60. This thing looks god awful. This looks like the R. Kelly special, the piss and shit. But hopefully the coverage and everything, like, it, it looks better with a more vibrant looking camo. But we have to head up here to, what is this called? Wonder Fizz and get dead shot. And then we're gonna get our free jug from the box. I'm not gonna buy it, I swear. There's dead shot. I don't even have enough to spend the rest on another perk. And now, for the rest of the time, for the last two seconds, let's admire the jellyfish. Look at the jellyfish. Look at them. They're very pretty. Now watch this. Ray gun out the box. Oh my God, I guessed it. Look at me. I am actually clairvoyant. That's like the 18th time I've guessed something completely right in zombies. Like I've been guessing the round that I'll get out of here. Speaking of which, I need to go put in my guess for what round I think I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I'm going to go with 43 is when we'll be finished. I think 43 is a fair guess. Well, my prediction has been on point. I hear Plague Hound. Okay. Max ammo just spawned. You just watched me pick it up. Our very next power up is going to be a max ammo. But let's upgrade our gun to green. I'll try not to forget to upgrade this later, but no guarantees. I never noticed the lasers change colors when he's fixing up his weapon. That's pretty cool. But our room here is open. I'm going to wait till there's one zombie left in this round. And then I'm going to start doing uh, the rampage inducer. Actually, fuck it. Let's just go do it now. No way. I got to wait till I have a uh, mule kick to do that. That way I don't run out of ammo in here. Oh, shit. Megaton. Get split. Idiot. Oh, nuke drops. Look at this. It's actually trying to prove me wrong here. It's like... It's like how uh, social media... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to hit that. But this is like how social media apps will like listen to you and try to advertise stuff to you. Now that I'm talking about this max ammo and I'm trying to expose this huge scheme created by Treyarch, they're actually just fucking with me. Oh, I forgot this loose change. That's probably why. I don't know where I'm going though. I just tried to run up to Wonder Fizz like it was going to be there, but I needed the anomaly first. Let's head on up to Penthouse. We're going to grab Mule Kick. Um, Maybe even Quick Revive. If we have enough, maybe we'll just stay Penthouse till we can buy just a few of the perks that we need oh my god it sounds so weird okay there's mule kick do you have enough for another one yet we do quick revive i watch till our next perk 4500 so I'll, I'll stay here till i can get death perception i guess i might as well just turn on the rampage inducer and sit up there i'm a little scared too but let's do it i don't know why i just can't like perform well up in penthouse it feels like it's way too fast or i just need more practice but it is not bad for grinding camos if you're good. Like, it, it has the fastest spawns in the game for any spot. And it's, like, doable. But I'm just so bad. We need a little bit more so we can be able to buy Death Perception. Like, 700 more points. This will help us get there. And we can afford it now. Let's grab it. Let's see if we have enough time to reload before the zombies start rushing at me. We do. Let's go. And we're teleporting back. Not before we get all these crits, though. Ooh. Is that a double points I see? I need that. If these zombies could get the hell out of my way. Thanks. And then how much is our next perk? Oh, wait. 
It's gone because we are no longer in the dark aether and it has been 10 rounds since we turned on power. And there's a Megaton. Guess what, Megaton? You're sleep. Good night. Oh, rotten camo's done. Grab that max ammo so we don't have to reload or anything. We're big chilling. We have a camo done already. And we have some intel. Another dog round, of course. And then we should be able to buy another perk now. Like, we for sure have enough. I keep forgetting the Wonder Fizz isn't there. I turn to go grab it. Guess what? Not there. Won't be there till round 20. So I guess we'll stay here. Save our money till round 20 bars. And then get our perky workies and head, do head on down. This is actually so fire for crits. Like, 90% of my kills here are crits. Oh, not fun though when I'm running out of ammo with a whole fucking LMG. Get on the decoy so I can reload, please. Jeez. The time it takes to reload this is longer than it takes for the zombies to get bored of a decoy, which is ridiculous. Now we already lost dead shot. But Joe, use Ring of Fire. Just use Ring of Fire. Well, I never realized that I need to use it until I have no ammo in the mag and it still makes me reload anyway. So throat one. Oh, look at that. Level 49, one level away. That's why I don't do penthouse. I don't think fast enough. My brain's too slow. We have no more dead shots, so no more headshots for me. Joe, you could just go to the dead shot machine. Too far away. Too lazy. Don't care. Didn't ask. Oh, another insta-kill right after the last one. Might as well just use it. I'm not a big fan of using insta-kills while I have or while I'm grinding for camos. But, you know, just part of the game. Gotta do it to stay alive. But I'm confused why it kept uh, Mule Kick and Jug over Death Pers or Deadshot. So I'm pretty sure Deadshot was the first perk I bought, but whatever. Get all this back. A little max ammo. Oh, also, the Pack-A-Punch name for this gun is called Slow Burn. Oh, 1,500 kills. That's our threshold camo. 1,500 crits. So we're at 1,343 crits. We'll be out of here. So less than 1,000 crits to go. Look, I'm in my ring of fire. It's still making me reload. It's still making me reload. What's going on with that, huh? Nuke? Worst part about the LMGs. Actually, not even the worst part. The reload, yeah, it's very frustrating. But the movement speed is awful as well. I did not mean to pick up those normal nades. I don't want those. Okay, go, on the, go to the decoy, please. Get the fuck out of here. Because there's a Megaton, and I want no part of it. Oh, my Lanta. I guess I wanted all of it. Decoy, go. I'm going to go down. Yep, going to have to use my revive. This is why I don't go penthouse. I think we have a ray gun, though. We kill the Megaton with it while we're down. It's not looking like it. We have a huge issue here. After I use my self-revive, we have no more, no more ways to get up. So I'm going to use it immediately by quick revive and try to run the fuck out of here. Okay, run, please, for me. All right, yeah, we're gone. Never to be seen again. Okay, there's not that many zombies left, so we can make our way back up. Grab all the salvage we left up here. Also grab Jug. Please split. Thank you, Megaton. You're a doll. Oh my, Lanta, stop reloading when I still have ammo. Okay, you know what? We're out. We're leaving. Goodbye. See you later. They're throwing the decoy down. We are grabbing a self-revive and some more decoys, and we're out. We're, we're fine. We can just go chill in our room now. <sighs> We started off so well. We already have three downs. Gonna ring a fire here and take out the Megaton. We got everything else in its path. Sleep. Perfect. Actually, while we're here, oh, we just unlocked something. Triple trouble. Okay, I don't know what that is. I'm switching to toxic growth. And we're gonna do the strat we did last time and just have toxic growth in here so we have something to fall back on when we need to reload. Let's grab all this, but not that insta kill and then try to reload before the zombies get in here. Oh my Lanta, I don't even have time to do it. Decoy, go! No! We're down again! Go up! That's our fourth down. About to be a turnover on downs. Grabbing jugs since we're right here. Gonna run and grab quick revive. Woohoo. Probably a bad idea switching to toxic growth. Then let's see if we can get enough money to buy dead shot on our way back down. I also need to upgrade my armor. Oh shit. Go to top the plane wing. Jeez, these guys are fast. Never grab the loose change from Jug either. I had to do that. Let's do this, actually. Decoy, reload, and walk away. That bought me a little bit of time. Still not done reloading. Jeez, the reload on LMGs is so slow. Let's do another decoy right here. Take out the Plague Hound because he doesn't get distracted by those. And then we will get as many crits as we can. Holy shit, they are fast. Let's throw another. I just want Toxic Gross and money. Oh, shit. Shit in my ass. What is this? Max ammo? Perfect. Another decoy for you guys. Enjoy. Okay, only this zombie left in the round. And he just got cryoed. Get owned. I can feel my lips starting to get really chapped. It's annoying. But let's grab dead shot. Let's grab speed cola. Ooh, 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 ooh. Check me out. I'm on skates. I probably just should have not bought speed cola because when we go back to the room, we'll be able to buy speed cola. I could have got like death perception and then saved me a trip to going back to the Wonder Fizz, but I'm not the smartest man. I only think of things after I do them. Let's head on in. Quick little trip to the Dark Aether. Lighten up the mood. And then we need to upgrade our armor bad. Let's get it to three. Let's put a toxic growth down right here. Another one here. Perfect. And now let's switch back to Ring of Fire and see if we can survive. 
Oh, it's a dog round. I'm gonna stay out here then. I don't want them to do damage to my toxic growth. Idiot ass dogs. Sleep. Sleep. Oh, wait. Now sleep. Sleep. Go to bed. Good night. Sweet dreams. Now we see if we can survive in here. From this point on, no more downs. Also, no more promises. Because I don't know if I can stay up the whole time. It's hard to stay on your own two feet. And this toxic growth is for sure gonna go away within like a round. These zombies are too fast. Actually doing a pretty good job of holding them off from it though. Besides the armored zombies. Yep, they already broke through it. Okay, let me just ring a fire here. They don't give a F or a H. There's a double points out there that I want. I want it. I got it. Megaton, please die. Why are you not dead? Same with your pal. Jeez, how much health you got? Or does this thing just do no damage? Joan, you only have it blue. You know you need to upgrade it to purple right now. Shut up. We do have enough to do that though. So we should probably do that soon. I'm gonna throw a decoy and hit the little portal. Go through the fast travel. Let's go. We'll reload as we're going up. I guess we'll take this opportunity while we're up here to thank the sponsor of this video. Ofa. It's like, I don't have any sponsors. Might do one soon though. I don't know. I've never done a sponsor on this on this channel before or like ever. I don't know why I said on this channel. Like I have multiple channels where I'm just cranking out sponsors, but uh, probably we'll start to do some in the future. Get that shmoney. Oh shit. Shit in my fucking ass. I'm, I gotta hit this nuke. That's the one time I need what I need a nuke. So we'll grab that and that. And then we have all the perks for now. We're leaving. I'm never coming to penthouse again. We need to buy back decoys, so I'm doing that. Perfect. Let's see if I can reload this and move at the same time. Kind of crazy. Repair the armor. Upgrade the weapon. Look at us go. And we're back home. And the round is coming to a, a blissful end. There we go. I've definitely killed, like, so many zombies with not the M60. But yeah, look at our eliminations to our crits. That's very bad. Gotta make sure this bad boy's reloaded, though. We gotta do a good job of not picking up insta-kills unless we have a ring of fire chilling in our back pocket. Because we are already out of ammo. So let's ring a fire now. Put another decoy down. We'll try to reload right now. There we go. I think the trick is to try to throw the decoy as far away as possible. And we are not grabbing that insta-kill no matter what. And this should be the round. There we go. Insta-kill, go away. I don't want to pick you up. I just want the stuff that's out there. Okay, I'm throwing a decoy now. We get those kills. Quick reload. Throwing another decoy, actually. We're all out of decoys. Just finished the reload. Come on. Come on, baby. Stay back. Hit the fast travel. Woo. Yeah, LMGs are not very good in zombies. There's such a huge time commitment. Let's change. There we go. Can't forget about that. Never grabbed it from stamina up, though, and I don't think I will. Out of the way, zombie. Thank you. No. No, what the fuck? I cornered myself. Oh, 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 we're fighting out of it. We're fighting out of it. Let's go. Accidentally hit the menu there. Don't care. Still alive. We're back home. Oh, go up again. We might need to turn Rampage Inducer off because we have to keep constantly hitting this portal. We're gonna be here all day. Unfortunately, I have to put a little punch in my bitch card and turn this off. Because these guys are way too fast for the slow ass gun. Hey, get off me. Oh, you know what I could probably do? It's round 26 and I still have it pack one. I've had to rebuy perks a million fucking times. Let's go get pack two. What's wrong with me? We got it purple before pack two. This time I, I made it past you guys screaming at me, upgrading my weapon, but I didn't back a punch it again. Let's do that. That might've been our issue the whole time. If it's not one thing, it's another. And I'll show you guys the camo in a minute. You gotta, you gotta let me breathe for a second. Oh yeah, get shredded zombies. Get owned. Plus ratio. Oh, we have a crawler. No better time than now. This is what pack a punch two looks like on the M60. Much, much better than pack one. Very clean. What do you think, zombie? You like it? Little bitch. We're at 689 crits and we need 1,343. I think we can do it. Oh yeah. Big wall of just yellow text. What you like to see. What you don't like to see is me running out of ammo and sitting here having to reload in my ring of fire. Huge waste of the ring of fire, but we got double points though. We're making shmoney. Quick level up. 369 sex. Nuke. Do not want that. No, thank you. I guess I'll hit it since the round's over, though. Nice. Two decoys on the ground. And we're going to replace these normal nades with Semtexes. We got 30k as well. We can go get pack three. There's pack three. It's going to force me to reload. I'll show off the camo after this round. But for right now, we're in survival mode. There we go. Almost at our ring of fire, which is what we're going to need when this Megaton runs in this room. There we go. Ring of fire time. Get split, idiot. Come on. Megatons take so long to split. that They're just sitting there immune for so long. God damn. I don't want this insta-kill either, so I can't move from the spot. They got me pinned here. They got me tripping. Oh, stumbling. Oh, fumbling. Oh, bumbling. Oh, there's chemical camo. Let's go. Right in the middle of my song. I hit the little portal, and it still gave us the insta-kill anyways. God 
Damn. Come on, bro. I don't want insta kill. Might need to start getting uh, elemental pop. I think we did that last time we were working on LMG. Oh, actually, you know what? We might be getting plague diamond LMGs today. We already have the stoner done and we have the RPD done. I didn't even realize that. Holy shit. We're going to get a whole nother class done. It's really catching up to me. I think the only thing we really don't have done is like pistols and tack rifles. Oh, shotguns too. We don't have any weapons done in any of those categories. So that should be fun. I need to put on chapstick. My lips starting to split right there. A little bit of this. Uh-huh. Get in there. Perfect. A little pink, uh, what is this? Pink grapefruit. Very tasty. Zombies, where the fuck are you at? Oh, dog round. Fetch me their toes. Round 30. We are 13 rounds off of my prediction. And we are about 500 or so crits off. I think we can get that done. Maybe even earlier. Okay, let's ring a fire before we're completely out of ammo. Hopefully no megatons show up afterwards. Oh, double points. I need that. And then I'm going to need to throw this decoy so I can start reloading. Even with speed coal, it's still ridiculously slow. It's the same exact time as a decoy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yellow text, yellow text. Ooh, a max ammo too. No need to reload. Perfect. Still gonna reload though, because I need that extra 11 bullets. I actually have a disease. I have a COD reloading disease. Or if it's not at the max amount of ammo I have in the mag, it's I need to reload. I hear a Megaton. Oh, there he is. Let's go ahead, ring a fire now. Yeah, split them immediately. Get owned. This thing die. There we go. Where's its friend? Oh, level 50. We can start getting our jackrabbit camos i completely forgot about those god it takes so long to get weapon levels and round based outbreak is actually really good for weapon levels i should probably just make a video on how i level all my shit up oh my god we need to go up Ooh. but i normally stream it like if so if you guys want to come by the streams i do open lobbies for when we're leveling our weapons up if you want to check those out we do stream here on youtube but i should probably just make a video on my uh weapon leveling method because i can get to like like i can get up to like level 50 in about like an hour or two on a weapon if everything goes right i don't know how many people are still playing cold war and needing to level weapons i feel like a lot of people that are still here playing cold war already have their stuff leveled up and they're just like playing it to play it i could be wrong if there's a demand for it i'll make it okay there's our first jackrabbit medal and we're gonna need a whole lot more let's bring a fire now while we're at 80 bullets and we have a pretty decent mag size for when it runs out corrosion camo there we go our first jackrabbit camo of the day serving it up gary's way oh double points shiny object need to grab uh oh Run out of ammo pretty quick though. Start reloading now. Never mind. Hit the tunnel and reload. Probably our best uh, course of action. We're gonna get a lot of use out of this tunnel and going right back down. Kind of cheese. TBH NGL. I grab all the salvage and that armor. We're back in business. Another level up. We're leveling up normally way more than we are with our weapon. I don't know why they nerfed like round based XP so bad. So it'd be cool to be able to do like level one all the way to like gold viper in a game. But it's really not possible. Even if you go to like round a thousand. Actually, that's probably an exaggeration. But round 100, I know for sure. You'll probably only get like 11 levels if you're past like level 30 on a weapon. Like that is not a lot. Not for playing for like three, four hours. We got no decoys left. So we're going to have to use that portal reload. And I think that's probably the smarter option anyways. I do need to uh, regain my decoys. We need those bad boys back. Examination camo, let's go. Some more jackrabbits coming in and time to reload. Ooh, glitch camo too. So we're at our eight jackrabbit medals now. Heading right back down. Death perception is so cool. It makes all this stuff look sick going through the portal. We can go pick it all up. Please grab the decoy and the semtex. Jackrabbits are usually like either completely natural to get like during gameplay with like certain weapons and others it's like you have to like try hard for. Like, I feel like the knife and the special jackrabbits are an issue. Maybe even snipers, if you're not careful. Jeez, I'm like hiccuping. Every other weapon, you just get jackrabbits by playing. Like, it's just so easy to sit in one spot and get them. Like, see, there's another one. Easy. Eviction camo, are we all done with our jackrabbits now? I'm pretty sure we are. I never remember which one's last. You think I would by now? I'm going for Dark Aether for a second time. But no, I don't. We're going up, though, on a Tuesday. Oh, wait, is it actually Tuesday? <laughs> Let's go. I mean, it's not going to be Tuesday when I upload this, but I'm recording it. It is. Oh, we're actually only 100 crits away. We can get done way sooner than I was thinking. Might be able to exfil at the next one. Everything goes right. Holy armored zombies are actually fucking insane. Another ring of fire. Oof. That was nice. Can we upgrade this to gold yet? I'm pretty sure we can. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're only 100 crits away now. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way now. Come on. Give me a ring of fire back. We're very close to it. Can we get it? Let's go. I was gonna say, can we get it before we run out of ammo and we can? So I'll sit in this until it runs out. We'll reload by going up the teleporter and it's easy peasy from here on out. Where are we at now? Ooh, we're very close. We're like 30 crits away. We can get done right now. Oh, a max ammo. We don't even need to go reload. Here, get on the decoy. Easy max ammo. Come on. This is it right here. 
called Viper Time, baby. Is it? Did we get it? Oh, we did! LMG Diamond! Let's go! Right on the money! Finished the round getting it. Let's get out of here. I completely forgot about Gold Viper until about 30 rounds into this anyways. Or I mean Plague Diamond. Or we're, we're leaving here with a whole nother class done. That's sick. Let's go ahead and start the X-Fill. I need to run over there though. Oh, we have a ray gun too. I forgot about that. Let's go pack a punch this bad boy before we do that. Just because. How, how are we going to get a ray gun and not pack a punch it? Ooh, actually I'm scared that the X-Fill is going to expire. That's happened way too much to me. Never mind. I said, how are we going to get a, a ray gun and not pack a bunch of it? This is how, right here. I will grab cashmere's because they are very fun. What else do we need? We don't need anything else, but I'll grab a death machine. We got salvage to spare. Damn, Raptor 1 showed up so fast. Like, he can show up at any time. Like, who's actually defending this base with a, a launcher to take him down? Like, who's actually sitting here watching this? I mean, besides you guys. I'm talking about, like, in-game. Okay, seven left. Easy ring of fire. Megaton sleep. Those are three zombies left. Okay, now two. Check this out. Death machine in the ring of fire. They're both sleep. Get them out of here. Hold on. Let me reload. Raptor one. Look at this. I'm reloading. Can I shoot him? Idiot. Let's get out of here. Why am I just now getting all these achievements? I feel like I've gotten all this stuff before. But anyways, 1,944 eliminations, 1,341 crits, four downs. Not too bad. We're, we struggled there for a little bit, but we're fine now. We actually did that pretty fast. Only 35 rounds. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what the M60 looks like with the mastery camos on it. Here's gold viper. Can't really see too much of it. We'll definitely get a better look in game. I'm gonna withhold my judgment, but from right here, coverage is pretty decent. But with all the season one weapons or any of the weapons that were in the game at launch, there is no coverage on the magazine, which is very disappointing for especially the LMGs where it has all that open space and it definitely needs something on it. But here's Plague Diamond. They did the coverage on that pretty well. Uh, it's weird how Gold Viper will span through the whole weapon there and not have any variation really. I mean, like there is still its, it's secondary color, that matte black. But then for Plague Diamond, all, the diamond's only towards the front of the gun where you're at. And then towards the barrel of it, it's all that purple metal. I find that a, a weird choice that the diamonds don't go all the way across it, but it's whatever. And then Dark Aether has the worst cover of them all that is disgusting why would they do that why does gold viper have better coverage than dark aether on this the magazine definitely looks better i don't know okay so you see the bottom of the mag here that it's they got that white on the bottom and all the tape and lines going across For dark aether they they matted out the tape but they still kept some of it that like gray it's weird this is the weirdest dark aether coverage i've seen on a weapon this sucks all right but well, let's go see what this looks like in game with both gold viper and plague diamond all right, this is what Gold Viper looks like on the M60. Definitely way better in game than the Gunsmith. I feel like a broken record at this point. I, I've been saying that a lot recently, but for sure looks better in game. The coverage looks really good. You can't really even tell that there's a secondary color, but the mag definitely takes up a lot of uh, real estate when you're looking at it. And it really just shows that they should have put coverage on it. I mean, it's kind of weird to put it on like a pouch like that, but they can do it for sure. One last look at it. We'll do a quick spin, get different lighting on it. Uh, check it out. And now let's go switch to our Plague Diamond. Whoa. Whoa. And this is Plague Diamond on the M60. They didn't even do coverage on the mag on this one. This is the default M60, no attachments. But come on, put a mag on it. Here, let's do this. This is more for me for the thumbnail. I want to see which mag looks the best with uh, Dark Aether because I know some of the mags change. Right, let's do this. Oh, wow. It was me again. Hello. There we go. Now let's make our way back to the little thumbnail spot. Okay, this is definitely way better. It even had, It even came with a smiley face. Look at that. How nice. But this is the M60 with Plague Diamond on it. Definitely looks better when the mag swapped out. Uh, this gun actually looks really nice. I do wish the diamonds spread more across the front, like towards where uh, the barrel and everything is, but it's whatever. I'm never going to touch this weapon again after today but let's do a quick spin with it very nice looking weapon very clean i'm glad we don't have dark aether yet and we didn't have to show off that awful coverage because it really is just horrendous but there you have it we have a whole other class done our lmgs are done our ars are done our smgs are done our melee our special our snipers are done so i'm no longer taking suggestions for those until we get dark aether that means pistols up for grabs shotguns up for grabs and tack rifles are up for grabs actually besides the m16 that's the that's the one tack rifle we have done i'm pretty sure anyways i think that's where i'm going to wrap up this video so if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please start subscribe and put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week but that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later